How to get rich without getting lucky. Naval Ravikant is one of my favorite thinkers. Even if I were to actively avoid him, which I don't want to, his work would just trickle through secondary and tertiary sources because it's worth it. So in this episode of the archive, I will read his initial tweet storm, which he published on the 31st of May 2018 and set Twitter on fire. By the way, you find Naval at Naval on Twitter and uh, over at startupboy.com. You might notice that my website, Belgium Boy, bears some similarity, which is no coincidence. So, on to the tweet storm. How to get rich without getting lucky. Seek wealth, not money or status. Wealth is having assets that earn while you sleep. Money is how we transfer time and wealth. Status is your place in the social hierarchy. Understand that ethical wealth creation is possible. If you secretly despise wealth, it will elude you. Ignore people playing status games. They gain status by attacking people playing wealth creation games. You're not going to get rich renting out your time. You must own equity, a piece of a business, to gain your financial freedom. You will get rich by giving society what it wants, but does not yet know how to get, at scale. Pick an industry where you can play long-term games with long-term people. The internet has massively broadened the possible space of careers. Most people haven't figured this out yet. Play iterated games. All the returns in life, whether in wealth, relationships or knowledge, come from compound interest. Pick business partners with high intelligence, energy and above all, integrity. Do not partner with cynics and pessimists. Their beliefs are self-fulfilling. Learn to sell. Learn to build. If you can do both, you will be unstoppable. Arm yourself with specific knowledge, accountability and leverage. Specific knowledge is knowledge that you cannot be trained for. If society can train you, it can train someone else and replace you. Specific knowledge is found by pursuing your genuine curiosity and passion rather than whatever is hot right now. Building specific knowledge will feel like play to you, but will look like work to others. When specific knowledge is taught, it's through apprenticeships, not schools. Specific knowledge is often highly technical or creative. It cannot be outsourced or automated. Embrace accountability and take business risks under your own name. Society will reward you with responsibility, equity and leverage. The most accountable people have singular, public and risky brands. Oprah, Trump, Kanye, Elon. Quote, Give me a ledger long enough and a place to stand and I will move the earth. Unquote. Archimedes. Fortunes require leverage. Business leverage comes from capital, people, and products with no marginal cost of replication, like code and media. Capital means money. To raise money, apply your specific knowledge with accountability and show resulting good judgment. Labor means people working for you. It's the oldest and most thought over form of leverage. Labor leverage will impress your parents, but don't waste your life chasing it. Capital and labor are permissioned leverage. Everyone is chasing capital, but someone has to give it to you. Everyone is trying to lead, but someone has to follow you. Code and media are permissionless leverage. They are the leverage behind the newly rich. 
you can create software and media that works for you while you sleep. An army of robots is freely available. It's just packed in data centers for heat and space efficiency. Use it. If you can't code, write books and blogs, record videos and podcasts. Leverage is a force multiplier for your judgment. Judgment requires experience, but can be built faster by learning foundational skills. There is no skill called quote-unquote business. Avoid business magazines and business classes. Study microeconomics, game theory, psychology, persuasion, ethics, mathematics, and computers. Reading is faster than listening. Doing is faster than watching. You should be too busy to, quote, do coffee, unquote, while still keeping an uncluttered calendar. Set and enforce an aspirational personal hourly rate. If fixing a problem will save less than your hourly rate, ignore it. If outsourcing a task will cost less than your hourly rate, outsource it. Work as hard as you can. Even though who you work with and what you work on are more important than how hard you work. Become the best in the world at what you do. Keep redefining what you do until this is true. There are no get-rich-quick schemes. That's just someone else getting rich of you. Apply specific knowledge with leverage and eventually you will get what you deserve. When you're finally wealthy, you'll realize that it wasn't what you were seeking in the first place. But that's for another day. All right, that was the tweet storm published by Naval. I will... I will mention that there is a, an excellent essay by Paul Graham called How to Make Wealth, which I will read as well and post uh, on the archive, which I think goes together quite well with this, uh, with this tweet, tweet storm from Naval. In the future, I will link to more of Naval's content, which I think is great. It's not even really content, it's a bunch of thoughts and and, um, and interviews and talks and uh, Periscope sessions that he hosts. I'm still trying to figure out how to archive this in the best way. But I will say, I will recommend you for now to visit at Naval on Twitter and make sure to check out his Periscope episodes that he does either by himself or with Scott Adams. Also, he did a two-hour interview or podcast conversation with Shane Parrish from Farnham Street Blog, which you can find under his podcast, The Knowledge Project, which I highly recommend as well. You can find all relevant links on the show notes. You can go to archive.belgianboy.com, where you will find this episode. I will link to Naval's Twitter account. I will link to the Tweetstorm. And I will link to some other content that I think is worth checking out. As always, thank you for listening. I hope you learned something. I hope that, well, if you didn't learn anything, I hope at least it sparked your curiosity to go and find or learn something else. If you want, leave us, leave us, (laughs) there's no us, leave me a review. Um, And that's about it. Thank you for listening and see you in the next episode of The Archive.